We have Kamala looking worse than Joe Biden in these swing states. This is Newsmax, a conservative channel that is stupid and insulting. How are black women going to respond when you try to subvert the woman on the screen? Well, they're going to be very unhappy. I mean, Joe Biden. Yes, Kimberly Gofoyle, a Trump family member who is white, is speaking on behalf of black women after the Newsmax clown, I mean, anchor, asked her to speak for black women. But to pass over her is going to be a huge problem, probably with African-American black voters, black women voters, all of the above. But there's many people that feel that it should go to Kamala Harris if Biden steps down. But that is a pretty crushing blow. Actually, the crushing blow here is to Newsmax. Headline, Newsmax turns to Donald Trump Jr.'s fiance to speak for black women. And this wasn't even the worst thing Newsmax did on the final night of the Republican convention. According to my sources, President Biden has agreed to step down as a Democratic nominee. Oh, man. It will happen as early as this weekend. A speech has been drafted for him. Newsmax political reporter Mark Halperin, fired from network news jobs for alleged sexual harassment, added on X, Historian and Biden friend John Meacham polishing up remarks. I've been speaking to confidants of both President Biden and... Minutes later, CBS News correspondent Robert Costa on X News. Historian John Meacham to me just now via text, the report about my doing anything with his speech is totally false. Then, Biden campaign officials told several networks the Newsmax claims about a Biden withdrawal were crap. A source close to President Biden is aggressively pushing back on all of this, telling NBC News, quote, how did all of this work out for everyone in 2016? Perhaps we should learn a few lessons from 2016. One of them is polls are BS. Just ask Secretary Clinton. Newsmax engaging in speculation and tilting it towards Donald Trump and against Democrats is not new. But it's one thing to speculate while engaging in reasoned analysis. It's another thing to literally make things up, like the Newsmax claim that President Biden has already decided to withdraw or that Kimberly Gulfoyle speaks for black women. Independent media watchdog groups say Newsmax has become increasingly unhinged. In 2023, Newsmax made a huge splash in the right-wing political world when anchor Greg Kelly claimed this. There is an audio tape, I am told, by people in the know uh, not necessarily in government, not necessarily out of government. I can't say too much, um, but there is incontrovertible evidence of Joe Biden's corruption that is about to be made public. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen before Labor Day, but it will happen sometime between Labor Day and Halloween. Not only did it not happen before Halloween, it didn't happen at all. There was no tape, no big reveal, no incontrovertible evidence as Greg Kelly had insisted. Greg Kelly was wrong, and the egg on his face was extensive. Now, it's possible Kelly had been misled about a 2021 podcast when President Biden spoke about putting together an extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization. At the time, a few right-wingers clipped that and posted it on social media to make Mr. Biden sound like he was making some sort of admission. But even Republicans in Congress investigating President Biden said the full remarks made it clear President Biden had been speaking about putting together an organization to stop voter fraud. As for Greg Kelly, he has never explained his fraud on his viewers or how he got the story wrong or why anybody should trust him again. And full disclosure, I like Greg Kelly personally. We worked together decades ago. He's a nice guy. But his reporting on Newsmax has been reckless and irresponsible. Newsmax, as a channel, faces the same rap for its 2020 election reporting. The voting company Smartmatic is suing Newsmax. And as the headline says, judge schedules Newsmax case over 2020 election lies for September trial. Several legal experts say the evidence against Newsmax for defamation is just as strong, if not stronger, than the evidence was against Fox News in the Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit. Fox settled that lawsuit for $787 million. <laughs> but never mind Newsmax allegedly making claims about the 2020 election that the channel knew to be false. More recently, Newsmax appeared to make money or try to make money from the Trump assassination attempt. Headline, Newsmax CEO uses Trump assassination attempt to raise money for embattled network. Quote, the CEO used the moment to underscore the importance of Newsmax and to promote people investing in the company. Just weeks ago, we announced plans for an IP later this year or early next year. We hope hundreds of thousands of Americans like you will be co-owners of Newsmax, subject to all SEC approvals. 
If Christopher Ruddy's cash grab seems tacky and shows a total lack of class, well, consider some of his personnel hires. In addition to Mark Halperin, who we previously mentioned was bounced out of network news for sexual harassment allegations, Newsmax also hired Ed Henry. Headline, Newsmax offers job to ex-Fox News star Ed Henry after DUI arrest sparking staff revolt. This guy is a walking lawsuit. That was a reference to Henry being sued by former Fox News producer Jennifer Eckhart, who accused him of raping her during an incident in 2017. My point is that there's something seriously wrong with the people running Newsmax and with several of their so-called reporters. Full disclosure, I didn't always feel this way about Newsmax. Four years ago, just before the start of the pandemic, Newsmax invited me to appear on air a few times to give some political analysis. The channel said it wanted to be a more centrist news organization than Fox News. I believed them and liked some of the staff, so I made a few appearances doing political analysis. But before long, I saw the direction the channel was headed, stopped going on Newsmax, and hoped I would be proven wrong about the Newsmax pension for right-wing extremism. Well, not only has Newsmax proven to be an extreme right-wing network, it has also established itself as one of the sloppiest and dumbest news organizations in America. But there is a silver lining. Newsmax is so absurd that you can literally trust the opposite of nearly everything Newsmax reports. Kimberly Goldfoyle speaks for black women. President Biden has already decided to withdraw. No and no. What a channel. By the way, Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene erupted at a foreign journalist during the Republican convention. Shame on you. Shame on you. But because, you know, no, 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 no. You're the, you're the problem. At the Republican National Convention, it was a Marjorie Taylor Greene meltdown. Not and lie, no, 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 not lie about it. You don't get to ask any more questions. I'm done with you. And after There's threatening to bolt from the reporter, Greene followed through and well, cut the interview the short. No, 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 no. You're the cause of our Steve country being response, divided. Yeah. You're the cause of our country being divided. You're the cause of President Trump almost being assassinated. You're the cause of everything wrong well, in America. Evidence for these claims? No, no, you're done. You're done. Yeah, go okay. back. The confrontation started innocently. Trump, what do you think of his choice of J.D. Vance as vice president? Very excited. After Green delivered platitudes, the reporter from the London Times Radio noted that Vance, a few years ago, hammered Donald Trump. Uh, this is a man who compared him to Hitler, though. Isn't well, that concerning? Let me finish. I vetted him on his statements, uh, his articles he'd written. Moments uh, later, the reporter asked about what Vance said recently about the UK. So Vance, he said that the UK could be the first Islamist country with nuclear weapons under the new Labour government. Doesn't that paint a power a sour picture for relations with the UK. Well, let's talk about the words of the Democrats and Joe Biden that have also labeled President Trump as a fascist, labeled all of us as Notley's and Hitler. Notley's and Hitler? Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Boogans McNutty who wrote, Maggie Green has zero class. <laughs> I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about Newsmax proving their channel seems to have no standards. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.